Hello, welcome back. In the last video, we understood that just by showing you average response time does not make any sense. All right. And even though average response time in the last case was same, but the moment you look at the distribution of the transaction response time, then you see that you know this this distribution graphs shows you completely something different. Okay. Like even like you know a average response time of three seconds does not guarantee that your performance acceptance criteria has been met. So and then we also discuss that we need one more matrix which is called percentile response time and in this video my goal is to explain you how to compute percentile response time and how to make sense out of a percentile response time and by end of this video you should understand the rationale behind using percentile response time while doing performance report so with addition to the to the previous table i added a 98th percentile time and the average is 2.9 but the 98th percentile is 4.9 and 5 and 5 here okay so essentially what this 98th percentile tells you that the value for which 90 percentage of sample were less or smaller than the value and only 10 percentage are bigger if i make it 95 percentile then i just want to change it 95 so i don't know like you know, if you understand this thing by because i just read this piece of text but let me show you how to compute here is a data set which is actual data of of 20 data sets and 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 i'm going to soon tell you how do i compute uh, response time the step one is sort all these transactions what you are seeing in an ascending order so if i sort them in ascending order my data is going to look like this so so what you're seeing here you are seeing all those datas are uh, so all this all these datas are, are 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 sorted in an ascending order so 1 1 and then 4.9 and 5 and so on then next step is step number 2 is count how many number of data points we have so count of data points is for us is 20 then number 3 is if you want to calculate 98th percentile then compute what is the position here like now if you number them 1 2 3 4 like this up to 20 then count what is the 98 percentage of that total count so since 20 so i will have 98 of 20 so that is 90 so that is the position is 18 and go to the position 18 so this is your position 18 and what is the value there that is the 90th percentile value so the 98th percentile value of this data set is 4 okay so what does it say you just say that only 10 percentage of the data is above that point so why what is the significance of this thing so whenever we are doing performance testing we might have like basically even if you take all those care about isolating the environment and all those things it may happen that you might have an weird transaction or weird request that is an that is going to give you a higher response time say say so whatever like you know you know, you know and, and that is also beyond you know I, I had seen those kind of things like you know all of a sudden one of one or two transactions give us a very high response time so what i'm saying is that we can ignore those two outliers we two outliers and based on that we say that okay on an average 90 percent of the transactions are a very good chance that they will be below this value okay and essentially that is what is the significance i don't want to satisfy all 100 percentage but can i satisfy can i make sure that 95 percentage or 98 percentage of those transactions are below a certain value so essentially whenever we give a performance acceptance criteria we give the average response time as well as we also put that 95th percentile response time so this is a summary of you know, why we went for uh, percentile response time because the average time can be very misleading there will be some outliers which should not be skew up your average so whenever we report the response time we also report percentile response time so here is an incision graph so this graph suggests your transaction response time percentile 
and then so basically you know what, what I'm showing here is that this graph like you know for example if you take take this number okay so this number suggests that 20 well, let's say 38 percentile right so 38 percentile response time for the delete employee is below this below you know let's say let's say below four second so 98 percentile response time is 15 that means this is probably may not be very acceptable so essentially what you see like you know, if you say that 95th percentile 98 percentile response time for this create employee should be less than five second then my graph should have been like this okay so this is why the percentile response time is so important and all the leading load testing tool whenever you analyze they also give a report based on the percentile you know in in in, in one case you have percentage of percentage of transaction and other set transaction response time all right so so thank you so much uh, for your time and see you in next video